The Big Fight, sponsored by 666bet.com. This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Matt Pinch, Jim Mar Player, and 666bet.com. I'm at the press conference today for the Big Bad Blood Show. With me, I've got Liam Walsh. What's happening, Liam? Yeah, um, just here for the press conference, like you just said. Um, not a lot, really. Um, got to do, aren't we? It's, it's the part of the job. Try to be at home with my feet up, but that's, that's the part of the job, like I said. The self versus Gary Sykes, absolutely massive fight. Great domestic fight on a really big card. Can you talk to me a little bit about the fight? It's a cracker. Um, I, can't, I find it hard to see it any other way. Um, I keep, when I run over it in my head, thinking, how's this fight going to sort of lay out? I can't see it being anything but a cracking fight. Um, it's a fight that's got my attention. I'm excited by it. And, um, I just can't wait for the fight now, yeah. Both, both the British and Commonwealth belts on the line in this fight as well. Really adds to the spice of it, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah. It's British titles, a title I've always wanted to win. Um, so yeah, I've got my, got my opportunity now and I'm, I'm over the moon about it. It's good to have the other Walsh brothers here as well, always supporting Team Walsh. Always free of all of us. Just to have to be dead not to be and I'll still be supporting them, to be honest with you, James. So, so. Um, Your brother's I'm bringing that British title on. I'm looking forward to this fight. As his training campaign, no doubt we have oh. ready made sparring partners in the house always helps. Uh, yeah, we've, we've been lucky as well though, we've had some real good ones come in, to be honest with you. We've yeah. had, uh, Paul Appleby, Wayne but we've thanked them for Apple and uh, two lads in Tenerife, Sandros and Artem. Yeah. been brilliant, he's had really good sparring in his camp. We can't say that a better camp because he hasn't, so we've done everything we should have done for a British title fight. Took him away from home, away from his family. Mine totally on the job. He's just got to prove us all right now because we all believe he can do it. He believes he can do it. He's just got to go and prove it now. Yeah. And we've got our first British champion ever, which we'll be well proud of. And my dad will be proud of. He's put a lot of time into his kitchen. He thought we were all capable of winning the British title, so he can be the first one to go and win one. Which will put me over the moon. So let's hope he does it tomorrow. And I think it could possibly be the fight of the night as well. Because Gary, Gary don't leave nothing, you know, nothing in the ring, does he? He always brings his head again. So. It's going to be a belting fight, but someone's got to lose, and unfortunately, that's going to have to be it's Gary tomorrow. Card. We better look. That's what I'm This is the best British build in. I don't know. I, I love boxing. I watch a lot of boxing. I, I asked that question. Someone tell me a better show in the last five, yeah, ten years. Yeah, and, and, and I know I got the, a big world title, but these fights domestic, they don't need world titles. They're some of the best domestic fights. Me and Lee were talking about this in the car on the way home. We tried to do a top ten domestic fights. Two of two of them are on this card, potentially. Cesaro Fury, <laughs> you banked, you banked Billy Joe, and then you got Liam Sykes. Well, tell me in the weight divisions, can you pick better fights? And if you can, I bet you it involves the fighters I've just talked about. So not forgetting Skeet Gavin as well. Yeah, that's another good fight. Another cracking fight, and one that you know. It's the easiest ticket we've ever done. I've, I've done over yeah. twenty grand a ticket. I've never done a ticket so easy, and I could have done another two hundred tickets, but. I wasn't able to get the tickets in the end, and me left me till the last, but I've never sold an easier ticket between me and me trainer Gray, and we, we blasted them man. tickets, no problem this time. And uh, I was one of the, I was one of the pay-per-view buyers last Saturday. This is a pay-per-view show. <laughs> this is a real pay-per-view show. That's not on pay-per-view. Exactly, it's not on pay-per-view. For a tenner, you get a tenner. This is for a tenner. Yeah, well, I must say, I'm a big boxing fan, and I felt ripped off with that tenner last week. And I like Belly, I like Cleverly, the good fighters, but... You felt ripped off, I bet. They all, they all, they all, they all, yeah. And it was 17 quid, it was 17 quid, it didn't really cost me that much in the end, actually, but I, yeah. No, it did, it cost me some far worse than 17 quid. It cost me my time. I'm a huge boxing fan. I liked all the fighters on it. I was excited, I was looking for something that had happened. One thing to show with this bill, you aren't going to get what you're looking for. You need 50 50 60 40s, that's all we ask in boxing. In them fights, the bookies don't lie. If you, if you want to look at these fights, go to the bookies. Frank's gone over this. Go already. to the bookies, has it? He's go already gone over it. Go, in go the press to the bookies and look at the odds, and then you know where you're, what type of race. You should always be a two odds. Well, I was always allowed to cash in on my brother. I put him away for a long time for me, brother Liam, and I'm not allowed to bet on him. He always tells me what to tell him. And I put a bit of money away thinking the bookies were stupid and my brother would be even money, so I put a little nest egg away and I thought I'm going to double my money. I thought he'd be even money. All my odds and dreams got smashed to pieces because Liam's come out at 74 and 9, or oh, what is it, 4 to 7, and 4 to 9, which I don't think he warrants that. I do in the long run because of the way he lives his life, he's never he's lived so clean. But the fact of where, 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 where Gary Sykes has been with his 27 wins, only haven't been beat once in a 12 round. I, I believe he should have, um, I think Liam should have shot him a bit short. If nothing else for my benefit to cash in, because I think this will be the last time if he wins his British title, the odds on him will be shit every time from now, aren't they? But we'll see how he goes on anyway. He's got to win the British title first, Danny. You never know, I might give him a free to one if he gets a good hiding mark in the next fight. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, you've been in some massive fights. Great fight against Scott Harrison on Box Nation, which a lot of people, a lot of people coming into that maybe thought he was an underdog. Had to see what Scott had left and what you had 
for what you had to prove. The car crash obviously well documented set you back a lot. Coming through this, if you do come through this, have you got aspirations to then go on to fight at world level? Absolutely, definitely. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be boxing if I didn't think I could win a world title. This job's way too hard to um, to be pondering around and um, and just and just plugging along, paying the bills. It's way too hard. Um, I got no trouble with you. Why don't you go to I'm got no you trouble with you. All right. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, no, without doubt, I've, I've always believed I could win a world title. Um, obviously, you need a little bit of luck in, in life, not only in boxing, in life, and get the right break, catch, you know, and there's no reason why I can't be. You look at our past our past world champions, and, um, you know, you probably want to give half of them a chance, you know. If hard work pairs off, he <laughs> yeah, should win. I'd Everything one, there is to win. I'd be a I'm not saying it's because of my brother, now. but I believe he's the most dedicated fighter in the sport at the minute in, in England. He's never changed a drug in his life. He's never even had a taste of alcohol or a fag. He's really took the piss, really, as in living a life. I would tell him he doesn't know nothing but boxing because that's all he's ever done. And he, we've had, when we've had arguments, I said that to him, you know, nothing but boxing because it's all he's ever done. So if hard work and dedication pairs off, he should win every title that should come to him. But like you say, he doesn't always come down and tell you need a bit of luck. He's going to have to keep yep, digging yep, deep yep, yep. and he's going to have to want it bad enough. And he's been saying since we were a little kid, he's going to be a world champion. I really believe he can. And I hope to God he makes it, but fingers crossed here he gets on. Well, right, well listen, Liam, yeah. uh, sorry to interrupt you, mate. Yeah, I'm no, going to no, go back in and get yeah, ready no, for the no. presser now. Well done to you, and, and obviously, Sykes and putting it on the line. It's a cracking fight, and yeah. I look forward to watching it, mate. Thanks for all the support of the show. Thanks a lot. Thank you, lads. Sponsored by 666bet.com.